Welcome to 365 Christian Men, where every day we aim to inspire and encourage with real life stories about men. November 13th, Brian Luoma. Brian Luoma holds a bachelor's degree in forestry and has completed the University of Tennessee's executive development program. Since 2017, he has been the president and CEO of Westervelt Company, which provides high-quality products and service while striving to protect and preserve natural resources. On this date in 2010, Brian was baptized. It's not what life gives you. It's what you do with the life you've been given that counts. Like a million other days before, Brian Luoma strolled into his office. But on this day, Brian found himself wondering how much longer he would be able to walk at all. His muscles were weakening. He felt it. He had even adapted his house when he had built it as if it would need to be wheelchair accessible one day. He knew it was coming, but when? For now, he focused on the business he'd started in 1989 after quitting his job at Montgomery Wards, the last job he had ever worked for someone else. After being his own boss for eight years, his business proved him a success. It didn't matter what kind of physical ailments he had, it didn't affect his smarts, his entrepreneurial spirit, or his relationship with Christ. Brian could accomplish anything as long as he trusted Christ to lead him. Without that, life had very little meaning. Brian had been born with muscular dystrophy. Diagnosed when he was in the fourth grade, he never noticed any real physical symptoms until he was about 18 years old. But now, as an adult and owning his own business, he could feel his muscles getting weaker. Sometimes his footing was unstable, and the reality that he could fall and seriously hurt himself was a great concern. Brian was filled with anxiety of what this disease would do to him. One day in 2001, the very thing he had dreaded got real and in a hurry. In his office, he fell. It didn't injure him too much, but everything changed after that. He could no longer walk. The strength to do so was gone. After that day, Brian became forever connected to his new scooter. But the scooter gave him a sense of relief because he had no more fear of falling. Although it was a very hard time in Brian's life, he was able to find strength from his faith in Jesus. Brian could have given up on his business, but he didn't. He didn't give in to despair. He kept talking to Christ, kept listening to him, and he kept trusting him. And Brian kept working hard to grow his business. Even when things didn't go the way he wanted, Jesus was in charge and looked after Brian's best interests. His disability made him stronger, not physically, but mentally and spiritually. He started having pool therapy, and it was a great help to him. And then he thought, maybe I can have my own therapy pool in my house someday. And if I do, I want to be baptized in it. See, being baptized anywhere else would be difficult for him. He would have to be lifted in and out, and the thought of getting hurt was always on his mind. Plus, he was self-conscious about it. Who wouldn't be? But this didn't stop him from wanting to be baptized. So his own pool in his house became his new goal and he talked with God about it. Brian continued working hard and grew his business into even more of a success. It took about six years, but Brian finally met his goal. The indoor pool was built, and Brian regularly enjoyed the fruits of his labor, and eventually Brian was baptized in it. There's always something we can be thankful for, Brian says, even during tough times. 1 Thessalonians 5, 16 through 18 says, Rejoice always, pray without ceasing, give thanks in all circumstances, for this is the will of God in Christ Jesus for you. What has life dealt you, positive or negative? How can you adjust your attitude to make the most of it? It's not what life gives you, it's what you do with the life you've been given that counts. Thank you for listening to today's story. Every day of the year, our hope is to inspire you with real life stories of faithful men who have gone before us. 
Hebrews 12.1 says, Therefore, since we are surrounded by so great a cloud of witnesses, let us lay aside every weight and the sin that so easily ensnares us. Let us run with endurance the race that is set before us. Join us tomorrow for another story at 365christianmen.com.